Hello, my name is Jonathan Williams, the president of For Christ Networks and the chief presenter of Walking by the Word. When we first began this series, one of the greatest challenges we had was with regards to our animated characters. Although we had some that we could use, if you look at some of our earlier episodes, you'll notice that the quality was honestly a little bit low. The animations were very blocky, very jumpy, and we didn't have any way of actually customizing the clothing they were wearing, so there wasn't much variety in them until we found the software from Real Illusion. Once we began working with Real Illusion, it gave us a new ability to, to make more real characters. We were able to start creating and customizing the clothes. We were able to, to start customizing the animations where it made it seem as if they were interacting. It made them seem more real. And that went to a much greater quality in production for all of our episodes and programs. If you're struggling in your productions with getting good, realistic animated characters, I would highly recommend you check out Real Illusion. FCN Productions is a small studio located in Heredia, Costa Rica, and we are part of the organization For Christ Inc., based in the United States. As a virtual production studio, we work with real-time tools to generate high-quality audiovisual content. Unlike large production companies, we do not have extensive animation or modeling departments, so we constantly face the challenge of optimizing time, resources, and results. Our main production, Walking by the Word, is a series that combines narrative and digital visuals to recreate scenes from the Bible. We were given the opportunity to bring the content through an international network based in New York, which broadcasts via satellite to the entire United States and Latin America. This meant adapting to a new format with a precise duration. That's why we had to re-record three episodes, uh, Bethlehem, the ministry of Jesus, and the crucifixion. My main responsibility has been the creation and customization of the actors, as well as the design of the complete scenes for these episodes. We used Character Creator to generate biblical characters from scratch, from body type, skin color, to clothing and accessories of the era. In the episodes Bethlehem, The Ministry of Jesus, and The Crucifixion, we created a variety of characters, including baby Jesus, female and male figures with period clothing, and characters with accessories like vessels or Roman weaponry. Each one was modeled with Character Creator and customized with tools like Transfer Skin Wave, Comfort Adjust, and Edit Mesh to achieve a realistic and coherent finish with each scene's context. On several occasions, it was necessary to adjust the costumes to prevent the garments from passing through the character's body during movements like walking, bending, or interacting with objects. For this, we used software tools, focused on collision management, and made manual corrections when necessary. We also applied physics simulations in cases where the type of clothing allowed it, aiming for a natural drape, without affecting overall performance. We worked on integrating animations directly from iClone, precisely adjusting poses and applying base movements from libraries like Actor Core. Some animations were refined with tools like AccuPose, and we also used manual keyframes to adjust the body and expressions more precisely. One example was the Roman character mounted on a horse. Then it was exported to iClone, where we took advantage of the software's animation gallery, which includes preset sequences, like horseback riding. This base was key, as it allowed us to modify and adapt it easily to our specific scene needs. We used AccuPose to perfect the rider's posture, achieving natural movements in the arms, torso, and head while mounted. This tool was essential for adding realism and expressiveness Finally, we store both the avatar and the complete set in our custom library, ready for reuse in future scenes or versions. One of the key points of our workflow is that we use Eximetry as the final production engine. 
Unlike other systems, Aximetry operates on a modified version of Unreal Engine, which often causes incompatibilities with many plugins. However, Reillusion tools, like iClone and LiveLink, are fully compatible with this customized version of Unreal. We document each stage of the workflow, from character animation to crowd simulation and final integration in Aximetry. It is also crucial to accurately replicate the terrain and environmental elements within iClone to test animations using Reillusion's Live Link plugin. We can select any mesh or set of elements within Unreal Engine, such as the entire landscape or specific structures, and transfer them directly to iClone as reference meshes. This is done simply by right-clicking on the objects in Unreal and selecting Transfer to iClone. We can choose to import the elements separately, as a combined group, or even as optimized versions with lower polygon load, which improves performance when working within iClone. Once in iClone, as reference meshes, they are used to position characters and create more precise interactions, such as walking on the actual terrain of the environment or aligning movements with obstacles in the scene, combining social actions with manual pose editing to achieve naturalness. For scenes that required more complex movements or specific postures, we turned to AccuPose, a tool that allowed us to intuitively manipulate the character's entire body. With AccuPose, we could move one part of the body and see how others adjust automatically, in a natural way. This was especially useful for achieving realistic poses in interaction or resting situations, without needing to animate each limb separately. It also helped us correct micro gestures, rotations, or smooth transitions between animations, all within the same efficient workflow. The ecosystem also allows us to add animals like pigs, chickens, donkeys, and sheep using perform type animations to visually enrich the scene. From iClone, we export fully animated characters and organize them in Unreal within independent sequences, which are then managed through a master sequencer. Each group Romans, merchants, animals, has its own sequence. These sequences generated from iClone can be integrated within a blueprint in Unreal, and once the project is exported to Aximetry, it is possible to control it using triggers. During live production, this allows us to show or hide elements by groups using different levels of polygon count as needed, which is essential for maintaining system stability in real time. For a studio like ours, having tools like Reillusion has been key to elevating the quality of our productions. It allowed us to create characters and scenes with greater detail and coherence, optimizing our time without compromising the final result. Being able to materialize our ideas with that level of control has made a real difference in our work. Reillusion integrated smoothly with our workflow based on Unreal and Eximetry, allowing us to maintain stability, performance, and efficiency. It helped us solve technical challenges and achieve a visual standard that previously seemed out of our reach. For us, these tools have been a practical and reliable solution in our day-to-day -day production.